How to publish Squarespace website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can publish a Squarespace website. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to go ahead to squarespace.com. Then you have to sign in for your account. Here I have my account signed in. I will simply click on account dashboard. If you didn't have or you don't have an account, you have simply to go ahead and sign up. Now we have here the dashboard. All you have to do is to create a website. If you do have a website, you will see here that the website is ready. If you don't, click simply on create website. Here we have the steps to follow in order to create the website. What's your website about? That helps us guide your experience. You can go ahead and put the popular topic of your website. For example, you have a health website, a marketing website, consulting, etc. I'm going to choose here a topic, for example, as a blog, or let's say that we are going to work on the beauty. Click on next. What do you want to do with your website here? We have the multiple options, sell on demand videos, promote a physical business, for example, sell products, sell memberships, publish a blog or other, collect donation, sell online courses, get appointments, for example, this one and that one. Here also I'm going to sell services and send an invoice. Click on next. Here we have two options. You can go ahead and build your template using the AI and also you can go ahead and browse the template that uh, Squarespace contain and you car can get to set up your website. I'm going with the browse template. Now we have the health and beauty templates that are selected for you. We have here 21 uh, theme or 21 template based on the uh, type that you have chosen from the beginning, the online store membership, scheduling courses and services. You can go ahead and see all of these templates. Then simply you are going to select one of them. When you select one of them, for example, I like this most, click on it. And here we have the color palettes. You can see the preview of that website on the desktop and also the mobile version. If you like it, you can go ahead and see the sample color presets. You can go, uh, it contains a lot of presets, so you can go ahead and select whatever you want. From that, I'm going to use that one. Then start with this design. Click on it and here enable, something went wrong. Try again, I'm going to try again and normally it will set up. This is just a connection problem. Now we are going to wait for Squarespace to load up our website then we will proceed to modify and you can also add some elements to that website now we have the name of that website this is it as you can see bellflower chinchilla and here we have it this is the website created i don't need that i only need this website builder here we have the different compartment if you want to see the pages that are included in your website, click simply on pages. Now we have the about, the instructor or our instructors, classes, location, and blog. This is a yoga theme website. If you want to modify these pictures or these pages, simply click on one of the pages like that, and you will see here the page. You can go ahead right here and modify all the pages. First, you click on edit. Here we have the site or that page. I'm going to exit that. So we are going to be on the main page or the home page of the website. Simply go to the website here, click on edit again, and it will show up the editor. Here we have the section, which is the header. You can go ahead and click on edit section and put whatever you have. Here we have the background color. You can go ahead and delete that color or the background image. You can put a video instead or an art. When you click on art, it will let you see here 
some of the templates that include are included in the bundle of Squarespace. If you put image, you can go ahead and place it, upload a uh, image from the library or from the uh, desktop that you have. I'm going to select another image, so I will let you see the um, the transition of that uh, image. We'll wait for a couple seconds, and you can put here the image or background width to full bleed or inset. Let it full bleed. Here we have the option to put overlay opacity. We have also the format, and here we have it. Here we have the fill the screen option. We have some gap row count or count alignment and etc. That was only for that background, but for that text, you can go ahead and select it and simply modify it. Click on the pen tool. You can select it right like that. Whatever you like. Like that. And here we have it. You can go ahead and extend this. And here we go. You can make this bold. Select all of this, make it bold like that. And also you can go ahead and put some links underneath or hyperlinks underneath that text. For example, now I can go ahead and click on link and add it or take make the uh, now word take to another spot or another page or a URL outside that website. That was for the uh, header. Now for the header itself, we have some customization. We have the navigation bar. You can go ahead and click on it. Click on the pen tool. Here we have the uh, order of the uh, pages. You can go ahead and click on any page you want and you can modify it. Now, this was for the order of the pages. You can go ahead and click here the site and logo, modify it, add a logo or put for example here a title. For example, Jack Smith website. And here we have it. This is the title. You can add a logo underneath it or without or in the place of it. Now for the button we have here, click on that button. You can see here and edit that button. This button will take us to a page called book a class or book a class page. You can remove that link or copy it or edit, edit it. Here we have the design. We have as a primary button, a secondary button or tertiary button. I'm going to let it here and here we have the account section you can go ahead and let it or you can remove it now you can see here that we have the option to add elements to add elements you can add some buttons social links for example cart if you have a store and language switch if you have a multilingual page or website I'm going to Deactivate the cart and the social links, or I will let the social. You can add the design here for those social link by setting right here. We have here the layout. Now we have the order of logo, menu, navigation, and the button. You can go ahead and modify this. Here we have the menu, logo, and the button. Now with those, you can add some sections. When you click on here between the two sections, it will show up something called add section. You can add a blank section, intro or pre some preset sections. You can add a image, for example. Here we have the example of images. Here we have some carousels. We have some image blocks, some uh, slides or a single image like that. If you want to add a single image, it will show up right here. You can go ahead and click on it, make it wider or make it bigger like that. And here we go. You can link that image to a content or, or a page, or also you can go ahead and modify the image, put an alternative text on it and put the file name of that image. Here we have the design. You can put it fit, fill or shape. For the shape, you can here set whatever shape you want. Now I'm going back here to the design and put it here fit or fill. That was very simple. When you finish any uh, any of those modification, click simply on save. 
here we have the website ready. I'm going simply to click on exit. And here, in order to publish that website, we have the settings. But before I publish, I will see the preview of that website. If I see that everything is matching up, it is OK and I'm going to publish it. Click on the gear icon right here, which is the setting. And here we have the site availability. You click on it and as you can see, it is private. You can go ahead and put it or protect it with a password or you can make it public by just upgrading to another paid plan. Here we have the paid plans from Squarespace. You can go ahead and select any plan that suits you well. And simply when you click on it, you can pay annually and confirm the selection. Simply put the address city and the postal code. Here you have to put the payment, the review, and finally your website will be published. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.